Good evening, I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannon there. And this is Nightline Mellonville. Unemployment. Tonight, Floyd and Earl look at the plight of the jobless. Tonight is the first show in this new series of hard-hitting news programs where Earl and I take an in-depth look at the major news event of the day. We'll be talking to leading political figures, community leaders, leading journalists and analysts, in short, leading uh, leaders of the world. And with the help of uh, very intricate uh, satellite equipment, uh, we'll be talking to guests who at times will be uh, scattered around the world, all at the same time, right here from our uh, Nightline anchor desk. So that's pretty good. Well, today's top story, of course, is unemployment. It reached a staggering 12 and one half percent. Now, tonight on Nightline Mellonville, we'll be discussing the government's handling of the unemployment problem with Representative Vernon Schaefer, the Republican congressman from the state of Wyoming. And uh, with opposing viewpoints, uh, Wayne Mock, president of local 313 Longshoremen's Union uh, here in Mellonville. And we seem to be having uh, some difficulties there, but we should have a clear picture in a matter of moments. Uh, let me just add here, Floyd, that uh, as professional media journalists, uh, Doing a live news show uh, where technical difficulties are an occupational hazard, uh, we just have to deal with it in a, in a very, um, well, we certainly uh, can't lose our cool over uh, technical problems that uh, do come up. Uh, well, I think that goes without saying. Earl, let's turn now to Congressman Schaefer. Uh, Congressman, first, let me ask you if you uh, indeed subscribe to the classic theory that the unemployment rate is in direct inverse ratio to the rate of inflation. Yes, I do, Floyd. And let me just add here that the problem of unemployment is one which is not only shared by those unfortunate enough to be unemployed, but by the American government as well. It is a top priority, and the politician, not only here in the great state of Wyoming, but across this great country of ours, empathizes with the unemployed and their families in these very difficult times. It is a grave issue, and one which I'm very sure in the near future we will look back on fondly as an unfortunate period in our history. I, I see. Floyd, let me uh, put that same question to uh, Mr. Mock. Mr. Mock, did you hear the question that uh, Floyd put to Congressman Schaefer? <laughs> Sir, did you, uh, did you hear the question? Uh, can you uh, can you see me, sir? Can you can you uh, do we have a feed here? Can you see how many fingers, sir? We're not, uh, Mr. Mock. Can you uh, can you see me here? Where uh, is there something I should be doing here? Uh, is there a dial? Uh, I can well, use? Earl, obviously there's the still feed. a problem with the feed. So uh, while they're correcting that, why don't I just uh, turn again to Congressman Schaefer? Uh, Congressman Schaefer, uh, as explicitly as you can, could you? Tell us what the government is doing to help uh, bring the unemployment statistics down. Well, Floyd, let me uh, return that question to you. Who in the public sector would this serve? Um, well, um, Earl. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think the picture's back there. Oh, um, yes, we do have our uh, feedback now, Floyd. Uh, uh, Mr. Mock, uh, the problem seems to uh, have been corrected. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, I can't hear you. Uh, Mr. Mock, the, uh, I, I can't hear what you're saying. I'm sorry. That in a nutshell to... is the union's position, uh, Earl. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> what, 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 uh, what is the union's uh, position? I beg your pardon? Uh, what is the uh, union's position? I, Mr. Mock, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I, can't, uh, I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, Earl, why don't I ask Congressman Schaefer uh, another uh, Floyd, I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to find out what Mr. Mock has to say here because... And uh, man... uh, we're not going to take that line down, Earl. I'm sorry, take what line down, sir? What, what the hell are you doing there, Earl? Are you trying to make a fool out of me? Uh, Mr. Mock, we seem to be having uh, great problems here. I, I can't seem to hear you at times, and you certainly can't hear me at times, and I don't... All right, what the hell's going on here? Uh, uh, calm, Earl, calm down now. What? Just calm down. Uh, address your question to Congressman Schaefer. I don't want to address a, uh, to Congressman Schaefer. He's, I want to find out what Mr. Mock has to say here. We, uh, the man has opinions, and I think the, uh, the public has a right to weigh I, what these two people have to say right, to each Earl, other. 
please. Now, look, I have one final question, all right? Yeah, you go ahead, Floyd, because you can uh, you can ask uh, one final question. You know you're going to get an answer. On the, I can't get an answer uh, on this screen, and, uh, and if I, I can't be on it. Geese! What the hell are geese doing up on this monitor? I want some answers here! Well, that's all the time we have on Nightline Mellonville. Uh, my thanks to Congressman Schaefer and to uh, local 313 president Wayne Mock. What the hell are you thanking him for? He didn't say a word. We seem to have the problem corrected, Earl. Now, if I, if I may, I'd like to uh, tell you my problems. Well, that's good. Big deal. <laughs> uh, well, good night, ladies and gentlemen.